Hello everyone. Welcome you all on Clary Concept platform. Today we will learn about what is the dynamics of machinery and its application area. Earlier the same lecture was taken in Hindi. Today we will discuss it in English as per students demand. As I told earlier that this subject is beneficial to both JTU students and other university students as major portion of syllabus is same for both. We are starting with understanding of word dynamic of machinery. As see it consists two separate word. One is a dynamics and another one is a machinery. Dynamic is a branch of mechanics that deal with force and their relation primarily to the motion. Basically, it contains two main terms: force and motion. Dynamic means a study of force. and an object which helping an object to move or motion now understand with simple example while we are opening door we pull it or push it and door opens here door is a rigid body or object pulling or pushing is a force for it and opening a door shows motion of a object due to force now machinery what do you mean by machinery machinery is a defined as a mechanical device or parts that keep something work mostly people have a confusion between machine and machinery we all see washing machine vehicle refrigerator that whole body with its internal and external part called machine while machinery is a part of machine which help machine to do its function for example a drum in a washing machine and an engine in vehicle or compressor in fridge all are machinery as a picture shows an no engine with piston cylinder arrangement up and down motion of this piston helps to engine for its function this engine belongs to vehicle that is a machine for us now we forward to application area of dynamics of machinery easiest way for learning this subject is correlate this subject with real world so let's start with taking first example of dorm everyone visited play garden in their childhood and swing also by swing there is a question in your mind which goes square during swinging at high speed during swinging it oscillate but when you swing with high speed it vibrate along with oscillation this vibration is a part of dynamics of machinery when speed of swing increase then its natural frequency it vibrate causes accident like a falling down second example which is also related with your childhood everyone seated on seesaw but have you ever thought on which principle seesaw works So here you can see a man is sitting opposite to the jumbo on seesaw due to imbalance of weight man moves upward and there is a chance of fall down but when niba and nibi seated on seesaw with same weight they can enjoy their ride because of balancing seesaw here balancing principle using in by seesaw is an application of dynamics of machinery drive a vehicle we all have different style of driving vehicle but anyone of you ever noted that all vehicle driver decrease their speed at a time of turning why does vehicle flip by one side at a time of taking turn because at a time of taking turn by vehicle cog is change but human body cog not change because of these changes couple produce and this couple is responsible for flipping of vehicle prevention of flipping and maintaining high speed a racer always take turn with tilted body of his or her this phenomena also work in car but here radius of turn radius of turn also play with major role along with balancing gyroscope effect plays major role which we will study later move to the next question 
can a singer break a glass yes you hear right a singer can break a glass there are so many type of music in which opera music is a high frequency music which can create vibration to small object and due to that glass breaks here vibration plays major role question is why are we feeling less jerk in sport car compared to normal car to understand this take example of any two cars here i am taking example of bolero and wagon r in bolero when you sit feel less jerk compared to wagon r it's because of damper system of car damper system also known as a jumper and damper system is resist for vibration which is also part of dynamics of machinery how does a punching machine work here i am not talking about to punch someone on face but i am talking about a mechanical device which is known as a punching machine it helps to make hole on a metal sheet but at a time of making hole or cutting stroke require lot of energy but have you ever thought from where this energy came so here by flywheel is a device is used to store the energy for the punching stroke flywheel is a part of dynamics of machinery is the most favorite thing of this generation playing game from children to elder all like to play game in mobiles it's so easy that only a moment make change in a game but you have ever wonder that how sensor of mobile works during gaming by shaking hand it means that only a movement of hand can turn a car right to left or jump so the reason behind of this is gyroscopic sensor which help for internal motion by external action gyroscope sensor is also a part of dynamics of machinery next question you have seen in movies at a time of continuous firing hero put his gun on shoulder the same thing we can see in defense force also but have you ever thought why do soldiers take support of their shoulder while firing because at a time of firing equal force at on a back side to resist this force and maintain gun in steady state soldiers take support of shoulder so that they can hit the target and gun vibrate less the next application also correlated with soldiers why are soldiers not allowed to march on bridge you guys notice that when soldiers are marching at that time movement of their legs and hands are same that same movement of hands and legs produce more frequency this more frequency is responsible for bridge vibration as it is more than bridge natural frequency due to this frequency different chance of collapsing is more that's why soldiers don't allow to march on bridge a real life example for this is takoma bridge collapse for more information you can google it in early days you have seen pendulum watch which oscillate with sound of like ting tong have you ever thought by watching that on what principle a pendulum works what will happen if we increase its swing so here is a no answer in the starting we apply external force and by restoring this force it oscillate but when force is continuously applied the moment of pendulum change and shake more or vibrate more now to the next question why do automobile have a lesser speed at gear 1 and higher speed at gear 4 and 5 we can correlate this with our body like we eat food and it leads to us for the energy same thing at a time of starting a car required more torque power and as a speed increase at that time we require less power and less fuel consumption for the less fuel consumption and less power we drive at gear 4 and 5 and for the starting we require more power at that time we drive at gear 1 with the help of motion and force which is a part of dynamics we 
can easily calculate torque or power application for that many people visited designs and sunburns at that time you have seen object near to you shaking or vibrating but have you ever think why does furniture vibrate when music is too loud the reason behind of this is music frequency and object frequency has a difference due to that object is vibrating this vibration is a part of dynamics of machinery so move to syllabus your syllabus containing mainly seven chapters but actually there are only five topics the first chapter is the first topic which is known as a dynamics force analysis of mechanism in this chapter we will learn about motion and force applied on any mechanism the second chapter is second topic turning moment diagram and flywheel in this chapter we will learn about the device which store energy and that storage energy how helpful to use in any machinery third chapter is balancing and this is also a third topic in balancing you will learn about how to add mass or remove mass to make your system balance so the fourth chapter and the fourth topic is gyroscope in the gyroscope you will learn about how to take turn by ship or plane or automobile fifth sixth and seventh chapter these three chapter is only one topic which is known as a vibration in the fifth chapter free vibration and damp free vibration in this chapter you will learn how to apply force in the starting so the system vibrate by restoring that force in the sixth chapter force damp vibration you will learn about how to apply continuous force to any system and also to resist this vibration in the seventh chapter critical speed of shaft you will learn about how shaft is going to be bent or how the shaft is bent by rotating any element or applying any extra load so here your syllabus is completed like uh, you have only seven chapters now we move to the reference book i suggest you two books one is a dynamics of machines by s bala gehru and another one is a theory of machine by s s ratan the first book by a bala guru is famous for the concept where the second book is a famous for the numericals you will find different kind of numericals in s s ratan thank you everyone see you soon guys